So it's nine o'clock. Um, we be here, and as chair of the Rochester Select Board, I find that due to the state of emergency defined by Governor Scott as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, and pursuant to Addendum 6 to Executive Order 01-20 and Act 92, this public body is authorized to meet electronically. And in accordance to Act 92, there's no physical location to observe and listen contemporaneously to this meeting. However, in accordance with the temporary amendments to the open meeting law, I confirm that we're providing public access to the meeting using the Zoom platform. And we have advertised the meeting in three places physically in the town and on the town website and also electronically through people who have expressed the um, interest to do so. So um, we have just a you know quick uh, um, agenda here, but does anybody have any additions they want to make to that agenda? Uh, no? We At some point today, um, I just want to make an announcement that at some point today, the warning will be ready for the select board to come in and sign. Okay, all right. So Good. that we, it can go with, um, it can go to the, go to print. All right, great. Um, that um, sounds good. That's good. I'll be in there. So um, the basically the the driving issue of that now as it started snowing again outside my window is the um, changing in the contract for sidewalk maintenance in the town. Um, Music Mountain Maintenance has um, um, agreed to give up their contract for that and John Gorton is willing to take that on and it's um, so I I suppose we should agree that that's um, a good move to take um, um, excuse me um, Dune, does John Gorton have a name for his business or would I just say John Gorton what is he does have four, four seasons, seasons property, property management yeah yeah four seasons okay, property you. management thank yeah. you so, Julie, do you have the insurance forms for John on file at the office there? Yep, I do. So yes. I just, I'll just i I'll type up his uh, new contract today, and that'll be ready as well. He's doing it for the same money? Oh, good yeah. question. He is um, doing it for the same money, but he has made a request as if he could get paid uh ahead a little bit because he needs to invest in equipment for his tractor. He needs to invest in a snowblower. Um, so, oh, go ahead. Um, what, so the state money, what is the amount of money that you pay every um, pay for the winter? What is that, Julie? Well, 20, that? It's 2,500 maybe, something I, like that. I it thought was a, it was a little more like 13, than 13,000 divided by six, maybe. By three. Or, no, it should be six months. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, because we pay him monthly. So, yeah. like, say if I said uh, like, 20 we're looking at we're looking it up right now. I'm sorry. Two thousand two hundred and fifty. Two thousand two hundred and fifty. And that's Thank you. Through April. Does that does that cover the sanding and salting there too? It does. Yeah. Is, is he got something for that, or does he have to? Um, he is gonna use a broadcaster for that. Okay. Yeah. And he asked about that or using the um, salt from down at the town garage, which I said, right. yeah, that's that's the right. source of we, that. We provide that for the community, really, right? That's the not under his, under his contract to provide, is that correct? Right, under his contract, yeah. And we don't invite the community to come take buckets of salt, but they're welcome to take sand for their own use, not for a, um, you know, not for business purpose. Right, but but John has access to that for the sidewalks. Yes, we provide the salt for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. correct. So he is um, actually going to be purchasing two pieces of equipment. There's a, a larger blower that goes on his bigger tractor, that um, which is a little oversized for some of the situations in town. And then he's also going to buy a smaller walk behind snow thrower. So. Um, on smaller snowfalls and for some of the more intimate corners around town he'll use that because the, his tractor is too big to get into to everywhere so if i said that he he asked um to be paid some of that in advance so he could purchase more equipment that's correct yes okay yes. thank you sorry to interrupt you um does does that include him uh 
not with this contract, but he also takes care of the skating rink. Is that correct? Uh, yes. And then probably that smaller, um, that this contract doesn't include that. That's a separate deal with the, um, right. I realize that. Yeah. But I uh, just wondering if that, that equipment will help him take care I, of that too. I think it will. I think his tractor was a little overkill for that. And that yeah. the smaller blower would be, a, um, a good tool for that. And in addition, he also asked if he could store his tractor in the old fire station because there it is right in the village and um, relatively empty. I talked with Cooter and he's got no problems with that. They've, there's seems to be plenty of room in there. So um, instead of leaving it somewhere under a tarp or, or transporting it every time. So I, I didn't see any problems with that. Yeah, that no, I think that's use. all right. Yeah. But the only thing I worry about is the salt in there. We always washed our fire trucks off when they were in there, but I don't think there's any power or heat in there. Anymore. No, there's, there's not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so he may want to uh, do something at the town garage. I don't know if we should clear that with John or what, that maybe he wants to, you know, wash off his equipment every now and then. Every now and then. To prevent yeah. a heavy salt load inside that building okay that's a good idea i don't know i mean you can ask john about it i don't really know what the ramifications yeah. would be on that how much he'd get really but yeah yeah i don't know um either that or um make sure that that's cleaned out um at the end of the season in the building to clean that out well yeah yeah because we don't want it to rust anything that could be rustable in there that's all yeah print this out and make a note here um so the the amount he was looking at if he could get fifty five hundred dollars up front that would cover his expense which is basically he's taking over mid-month so the the half of this month and then um so it's it would be i think that's that's reasonable It'd be, um, dude, I'm confused. Fifty five hundred is more than I, I only have twenty two fifty through April. That's a, a monthly payment of twenty two fifty. Oh, per month. Okay, pardon me. I thought that was a whole yeah, amount. Yeah, yeah. Pardon me. I'll fix and, that. Thank you. Right, and so he would be asking for basically he's taking over mid January, so it'd be a getting <laughs> of the January contract, and then. Um, February and then half of March would make that up and that's still totally in the in the window of winter and when we'll be needing the surface so I, I think that's um you know the money's in the budget I don't see any problem with doing that do you guys no not at all I mean I got a couple complaints on the side that they weren't plowed but nothing too serious I know the last storm was kind of hectic anyway and and a little bit stressful, heavy stuff. Yeah, well, that last um, storm was what prompted this transition because um, Music Mountain um, failed to materialize to take care of that. He got overwhelmed with his other commitments. And that's when um, um, we had had this conversation with John at the beginning of the season and, and um, Music Mountain said they wanted to keep on with the contract. Um, and at that point, I think that John had had come and cleaned up um, when Mike couldn't get to it. And so that's what prompted this. Um, finally, it was too much for Mike. And he's like, yeah, let's let John have it. So, um, so if we, um, I guess we'll have to draw up a, a separate contract um, for that, but we can, um, all right. So I don't think um, it was nothing that we need to make a motion on, right? Or, or we, here we are, we could. I move that we um, um, mid-season reassign the sidewalk um, maintenance contract to four seasons property maintenance. I second that. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. All right. And then the second thing on our agenda is um, a letter that we had Joan um, write up on our behalf in support of the um, a grant application of Big Town Projects for the Better Places program, which is a program that's been brought forth rather quickly in an attempt to um, support local businesses and vibrancy in the village or during COVID time to um, enhance 
opportunities for people to to be outside and um, access businesses. And so this is um, basically would be, and this is not something that I would be able to sign because it's um, regarding a project that I personally in, am involved in, but it's with the, um, the basically the improvement of the the streetscape and helping to define the sidewalks between the gallery building and the um, uh, P Vine Drive headed towards the new park down there. So there were a couple typos in the letter that um, Joan wrote, and we clarified that it's the application to the Better Places program. It's a grant application to that program. So I clarified some of that that um, wordage, but. Um, um, in, 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 I, I couldn't get everything you said. So Julie, if you're there, is it possible for you to, to email me a copy of what it is that they're going to be doing with this project? Yep. Thank you very much so that I won't have to ask everybody to repeat it. I'm sorry. This is merely just a support letter for, for you to get your Yeah, grade. there's no, um, there's no financial, um, Right. commitment from the town whatsoever it's just a letter of support and awareness of the project and that it's um in but it's it. called big town projects and it, okay well then in oh, case big, i just said go ahead i'm big, sorry big town projects incorporated is the nonprofit organization that's applying to it the grant needed to be applied for by either a municipality or a nonprofit organization Okay, and the goal of it was to improve the streetscape and help define the sidewalks at the north end of the village. Would that be correct to say or not? Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good good piece of it. I could um, I could read it for the record if you'd like, since we have yeah, open media here. Don, I'm, I'm sorry to be a pest about this. That's it's all right. To write as fast as people talk. <laughs> it's addressed to the 2021 Better Places Program Committee and attention. Um, Richard Amore, on behalf of the Rochester Select Board, I'm pleased to provide this letter of support for Big Town Project Incorporated application to the Better Places Program. The planned site improvements your grant would fund will reconstruct and connect the Green Mountain Bike Shop, the Bike Rental Center, and the new Velamont Inn and complete the transformation of a significant sector of Rochester's commercial district. The project will improve traffic patterns and the experience of pedestrians and bicyclists that the appearance of the streetscape and address on-site drainage issues. In addition, the Velamont Inn renovation is turning an underutilized aging structure into a hostel and lodging facility, which will create local jobs and enhance the growth of tourism in our valley. Together with the Big Town Gallery, the bike shop has been a vital center of commercial, cultural, and community activity in the village district for over 30 years. The project dovetails nicely with Rochester's improvement efforts in the village since Tropical Storm Irene, including the construction of a new park with river access, the installation of a park and ride facility, ACCD Village Center designation, a stormwater master plan, and a detailed sidewalk planning study. Town-based nonprofit groups have been part of this effort too. For example, the recent renovation of the Pierce Hall Community Center Rochester is partner with the Rochester Randolph Sports Trail Alliance, RASTA, with the mission of developing and improving outdoor recreation opportunities, such as the new Velamont Trail. The bike shop and gallery bring a diversity of visitors to our small town for outdoor recreation, culture, commerce, and community gatherings. The Velamont Inn and associated improvements described in their application will make Rochester and vicinity an even more attractive and welcoming place to visit stay and enjoy so thank you wow that's, okay that's so why, that's, I, that's why I can't i can't there. vote on it because i'm involved in in the, the businesses that will be uh, you know partially affected by this but it'll be the so it's basically a letter um that the town is aware of the 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 progress and patty you have a question yeah um the end result physically what are we going to see as an end result of this great money um, physically, what you're going to see is the right now, if you start from the bike shop and head south all the way to the old Simpson building, it's um, solid pavement and kind of a free for all traffic access in and out of Route 100. And what we're going to do is define 
two driveways in and out of those properties and and instead of just uh, you know 100 yards of, of driveway access and we're going to um, be removing some asphalt and um, greening up on our property so it'll be more um, some outdoor outdoor spaces but you know pedestrian and um, and places for people to hang out you know versus um, massive asphalt and cars parked everywhere so when do you estimate that this work would get done this would be happening this summer I think the grant when it's uh, um, in it has to happen within three months so it's going to be this this spring and summer it's coming spring and summer okay yeah and this hey, grant is just a partial this is just a it's not um it's not going to take the whole whole project over frank you had a question yeah uh is that is that subject to zoning um, uh what your improvement is you kind of have to let that out to zoning don't you or do you um, I don't think so. There's no modifications of the building structures. There's we have been in touch with um, D-Trans. They're concerned about access in and out of Route 100, and it Chris Bumper right. determined that we don't need an 1111 permit because we're not asking to add um, access to Route 100. We're actually defining and reducing access to Route 100. So um, it's not, um, and then in terms of, it's been identified on our sidewalk plan as a, as a needed section of clarification and the sidewalk, well, we're not talking about building a sidewalk right now, but by defining the driveways and defining the edge of pavement, it will basically um, bring to um, visibility the existing sidewalk that is there that's been commandeered by vehicle traffic at this point i i think it's a it's a great project i'm not against it at all um uh, i would suggest though that you uh, when you have a finalized plat of yep. what you're going to do there that you would submit it to the town to the yep. zoning and just let them Absolutely. have yep. a review of it yep I mean, I don't think it would be anything that would hold you back or anything else. I just think it'd be nice to put it out in the open for everyone to see. Yeah. And also, um, if that's something that when you do get that done and you do decide to do that, I think it would be good to put a little summary of what's going to be happening in the in and when in the in the Herald so that, you know, people could know that, you know, they don't necessarily all look at the town website or whatever, you know. Yep. yep. No, it's definitely would want to have the the finalized plans and clarity and yeah and, and you know presenting it to the zoning we're working with vtrans now it's like that's the advice we've been given is we got to start with the state and move back from the road because they really that's their you know the main concern there and then right yeah i know uh we talked with john and and joan and i we walked a village there the other day and we'd kind of like to have something when they do pave the town through again that we can step out to the edge of the right of way at least and we may even want to go further in a few places mm -hmm. that we may have to do something on our own but i think it's yeah. it would behoove us to do it at that point yeah so it sounds so like I, that's not happening till 2022 so we have this right to really identify and and in this corner of town, at least, I think this will um, um, make a big step towards clarifying what what's going on there. Yeah. Do you yeah. think we might also do some repairs to the the section of sidewalk that goes from um, Park Row in front of the Park House and in front of the uh, old Catholic Church, et cetera? I mean, down to the Catholic Church in turn. That is kind of yeah. That's been identified on the on the master plan as a as a hot spot that Nothing needs to be fixed uh, okay. yeah that needs to be fixed we've um that uh, i suppose you remember back to it's been a handful of years now when we did this town-wide sidewalk study and there were some um, recommendations in there that um well the Dubois King's recommendation was like oh we know it sounds intense but it's best to just do the whole town all at once you know and and, and get it done with and that's the most efficient way and that's um, 
that's not the way that we're going to be able to deal okay. with this, you know. So we, when they put the new uh, water line into the park house for the sprinkler system, we took that opportunity to establish the sidewalk from the park house going east up along the park, you know, so that we attacked that little chunk of the sidewalk that was another identified vague spot where it was just a, a <laughs> pavement and cars and people blended. So, but yeah, that section you're talking about is also another. Yeah, another okay, spot. thank you. And speaking yeah. of which, I also heard from my neighbor, Dan McKinley this morning that the park house generator is arriving. I think it's today, either today or tomorrow. Good, yeah, this last power outage really brought to the forefront the, the need to have that hooked up. Well, they've been uh, fundraising for it for a long time and apparently Walt Wells told him that it, he was head of it and he told um, Dan and they were very, very, very excited because yeah. you know, no, especially be now when they're locked down because they've got five COVID cases. Yep, yep, so, yep. so, um, so anyway, so I, had to, I had to recuse myself from from this one, but I'll leave it up to you guys to, you know, uh, prove or not the, the town's um, recognition of this project and your um, um, support of it. I can make a motion that we do support the uh, letter of support for um, the big town organization to uh, apply for the grant. Second? I can second that. Yep. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Um, yep. And I think that's Bar all. Barring, barring the typos, though. <laughs> Just barring the typos. typos. Yeah, right, right. We'll um, <laughs> have that in, improved. And in, in actually, we had it signed by. Um, Joan Allen, the select board assistant, but I might, maybe we should just say that um, select board and have you guys sign it as the select board, not the select board. <coughs> Does that make sense? If we're yeah. going to, if, if they could, you know, make, get rid of park and red and, you know, the typos and go ahead, we'll can yep. sign two okay. for you. So I'll um, have that over at the um, town office when they go in town, um, sign the warning that'll be over there too. All right. Okay. So yep. I think that's um that's all I had, and um we'll see you guys again Monday. All right. Yes. All right. Thank you. And I'll, Have a good day, I'll everyone. I'll call John Gorton and, and let him know that um what that we agreed to accept his offer of cleaning up our village for us. It's snowing again. Yes. Yes, it is snowing again. Yes. He's going to be. He's going to be spending a lot of time down here if he's doing the school too. He finally did get on the skate space the other day. Yeah. So that's good. All right. Thank you guys. Okay. okay. Later. Bye.